Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to talk about AWS SAM which is basically AWS serverless application model. Uh, this video is actually just a getting started kind of a video so I'll just show, I mean I'll talk about AWS SAM and I'll show you a hello world kind of example how you can basically build and deploy your hello world application using SAM, right? And then probably later on we can do some advanced, uh, maybe in the later videos I'll probably do a full course on AWS SAM, right? I mean if, if if this video gets the response which I'm expecting, right? Okay. So AWS SAM or serverless application model, uh, it's basically an open source framework which is provided by AWS to people out there uh, to build and uh, deploy their serverless applications. Serverless applications, if you're not aware, is basically the combination of serverless services which are there in AWS, uh, services like Lambda, uh, some event sources like SNS, SQS, and then you have your API gateways, databases like DynamoDB, right? So things like that. So if you package all these services and create an application, uh, then that application is basically a serverless application. And uh, what uh, AWS SAM offers you is basically a templated form of uh, deployment. So you basically write templates. You don't actually have to write the code, right? To build pipelines or deploy, I mean, how to deploy your application. So you have, I mean, once we'll get to the demo, it will actually be a lot more clear. So I'm just talking about what uh, SAM actually provides. So SAM actually gives you a template based uh, uh, specification. So you specify whatever you want to build, say you want to build an, a Lambda, AWS Lambda, right? You want to build an API gateway, you want to build a DynamoDB. So you just specify those in a template, right? And along with that, SAM also gives you one CLI. So it's called SAM CLI which you actually use to build and deploy your serverless application. So we'll see how we actually use AWS SAM CLI when we deploy our Hello World application. Uh, before going to the demo, uh, let's talk about the benefits which uh, SAM offers. So again, same kind of benefits. It's a single deployment configuration. You get templates, uh, easy to build, right? So easy to write, easy to understand. It's all, uh, I mean, if, if you're familiar with uh, CloudFormation, AWS CloudFormation, it's, it's something on those lines. And that's actually another benefit that it's an extension of uh, AWS CloudFormation. So people who are comfortable writing CloudFormation templates are actually, I mean, they're going to have, I mean, they don't actually have to struggle writing uh, your SAM templates, right? Uh, again, one more benefit is like local, local debugging. So you can actually, instead, I mean, if you don't have an AWS account, so instead of building everything on AWS account, AWS somewhere in AWS, uh, you can actually leverage Docker to build everything locally and test it locally. So that is also possible using SAM. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So now let's go to our uh, uh, terminal and see how we actually, I'm not going to show you the installation. I'll put the link to the installation for Linux and Mac, right? Uh, you can, it's, it's a straightforward installation. Just copy and paste the commands and you would be good to go with SAM, right? So let's go to the terminal and see how we actually build a hello world application and deploy it on SAM. Okay, so now I'm on my terminal and if I just issue SAM command, you can see I already installed it, right? And the bunch of uh, stuff which is already there, right? I mean, bunch of options which are available, right? So in this video, I mean, like I told you, we'll be deploying uh, a sample application. So let me just clear the screen. And the first command which I'm going to issue is SAM init. And you can see it gives you two options. Let me increase the font size. Uh, cancel it. Okay. And do SAM init again. So you can see it offers you two options, right? Whether you want to do AWS quick start templates uh, or else you can do your custom templates as well. So since this is just a hello world example, we'll select one. Okay, so now you see it gives you a bunch of options, right? Hello world, multi-step, serverless API, scheduled task, and things like that. Uh, we are not going to do go into the details of those, but we are going to select the first template, which is hello world. And then it would say, the, I mean, it will actually present to you an option whether to use that or not. So it's runtime and package. 
by default it is node.js but I'm not going to use node.js I'm going to use python so I'll just say no to this and then it will present me a menu to select basically the environment and I am going to go with python python 3.8 so 10 and the package type would be zip in this case so not type zip but just type 1 application name I'll say I mean, instead of using the default name which is sam app i'll say my app and you can see it is done right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do two more commands so first i'll cd into my app right let me clear the screen and then i'll do sam build and this will fail and i'll tell you why it is going to fail okay so this is basically, I mean, issues with Python environment not set and my default Python is something else and it requires Python 3.8. So what I'm going to do is Python uh, 3-M V-E-N-V E-N-V. I'm just going to create a virtual environment using Python 3.8. And then I'm going to source it env bin env bin activate. All right, so now my uh, virtual environment is activated. Again, let's issue the same command which was sam build. And this time it should work. And now I'm going to issue, I mean, I'm going to actually deploy my. Uh, application and you must be wondering how it is going to deploy i mean how is it going to connect to my aws account uh, how from where it is is it getting the credentials so that is very simple i mean any if you have worked with any aws sdk the way you set up the credentials either using aws cli just do aws configure and then pass in your credentials or you can have it in your environment variables right so these are the two major ways uh, which you can I mean, by which you can actually pass the credentials i already have my credentials set in aws cli i mean because i use a lot of aws cli so my credentials are set so this sam is actually referring to that those credentials right so yeah so now coming back sam so you see it actually tells you what command to run next so sam deploy i'm going to run that and i'll do a guided guided and it's a stack name so it by default takes the stack name also as sam app but i'll again do my app us east one is fine for me configure changes before yes let's do that yes so it actually requires an im role to basically do all this creation right and yes hello world function may not have authorization defined is it okay yes save arguments to a configuration file yes sam configuration so by default this is the sam configuration file so let's just hit enter enter and now it is going to actually deploy it so it And this is actually using CloudFormation, right? So you would see, uh, this is actually going to use CloudFormation. And even if you go, I mean, at this point of time, you go into your AWS console and go to CloudFormation, you would see this getting deployed. And you see it has created a chain set. Now let's just deploy the chain set. So it is creating IAM roles, lambda function. API gateway. So it will actually give the endpoint at the end of this, which you can use to basically curl or make a, or a get request, right?
all right so successfully created the stack and where is that so this is yeah so this is the url which you get so now if i let me clear the screen and let's do a curl call on this url and if you do a curl call you see you get the message hello world so your hello world application is deployed right let's do an ls in this directory my app to see what all stuff we have created let's go inside so this is sam config so this file contains all your sam config if you want you can i can show you that right so all the stack name s3 bucket where all your files would be there region i mean you can change stuff right i mean in here directly right if you want say i mean some custom s3 bucket you can do it let's go inside hello world directory and this is where your application is right so if you do cat on app.py you see this is the basically the lambda function like you see lambda handler so this is the lambda function which is which is returning hello world so in, i mean if you want to write custom code you can actually create an application over here any xyz.py file and you can put your custom code in there and use uh, sam cli to deploy it so we'll do that in the later videos but for this video i think this is uh, what i wanted to show you how you actually put uh, uh, your code from your system from local system to uh, aws cloud using aws sam like serverless application model right okay so yeah this is it for this video guys i hope you like the video uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching